All right, it was a gray and just ugly day out there. These low clouds really did not let up. It is still cloudy out there with Carlisle and it's still misting out there occasionally. So it's not rain that really is all that is measurable, but it is enough to keep things on the damp side. 48 right now at the Cumberland County Historical Society. And most of the rain that we got here was from this morning. We did see some steadier showers bring most of us uh, about a tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain. These are our warmest spots right now. It's been a struggle just to get out of the 40s today. 51 at Fawn Grove. That's in far southern York County. We've got 49 in Camp Hill and 48 in Hummelstown and Mont Alto. So as that warmer air continues to approach, I do think more of us will break into the low 50s. But when it comes to any hopes for sunshine before the sun goes down, I'd say forget about it. We've been locked in with this southeast wind pulling in some of that cooler maritime air. And now we're just kind of waiting for this wind shift. A clear warm front. You go from the 40s in State College to mid to upper 60s over Pittsburgh. And the winds have been very feisty over the western tier of the state. So once the wind shift to a westerly direction tonight, we will clear out. And tomorrow looks like a much nicer looking day. Right now we are tracking just mainly clouds out there. Still will not rule out a spotty shower or two to Developing this evening, but since we didn't see much sunshine, there's not much instability to get things going. All the thunderstorm activity has been across the northwestern part of the state, and man, did they pack a punch. There have been plenty of damage and wind and hail reports across the western part of the state. I mean, look at all this, even reports of an injury not too far from Pittsburgh because of a downed tree. So, yeah, kind of the opposite of what we've been dealing with today. Very different weather on both sides of the state. By 7 o'clock this evening, we're still cloudy, but notice overnight, as those westerly winds start to take over, we do finally get rid of these clouds. So temperatures should drop into the low 40s tomorrow morning, perhaps upper 30s for some. And then tomorrow afternoon looks absolutely gorgeous. Highs back into the low 60s for most of us. Get out and enjoy it. Clouds do increase again as we head into late Sunday night and Monday morning. And then Monday afternoon is when that next round of some showers will move in. It's not going to be an all day rain on Monday, but kind of similar to what we had this morning. I do think we'll see a period of steadier showers during the afternoon and evening hours. So that's on Monday. I have taken out rain chances for the middle part of the week. It really does look like that system that was showing up is just not going to happen. High pressure is going to win out. We'll see lots of sunshine highs right around where we should be in the low to mid 50s. And then we have more warm air coming back for the end of next week, back up to 60 on Friday, and then a better chance for rain as we head into next Saturday with highs in the mid to upper 60s. Jared, over to you.